Lustra's big guy was third. The prices are not up there. It's still unofficial with Forrest Skipper. Uh, the unofficial winner, Broadway Express second, Luster's big guy third. And while we're waiting for the prices, here's Alan Kirschenbaum and a very happy Louche. It may be unofficial, but here we are on the Lucian Fontaine show. Lucian, I knew you were going to leave with that horse. I didn't think you'd let anybody go. What made you decide to let Mickey McNichol go early? Well, you know, there was no use to burn my horse at the first quarter. I know that Broadway Express got a lot of early speed. I thought staff director would leave. I didn't want to be sitting third. I made room for staff director. And, uh, okay, I made room for staff director, and, and then I got to the... Um, let Mickey McNichols go, as you're going to see over here. And uh, then my main thing is to get control of the race. So I knew Mickey just want to get position with a horse like Forrest Skipper. Skipper, most people want to get a good trip. So out I came again to uh, regain the lead in 28 and 2, which was not uh, really too fast. And my horse over here is very comfortable. We're watching the race on isolation. Here we see Forrest Skipper sent to the lead by Lucian Fontaine, and you're going to get a little bit of a breather in the second quarter. Yes, I sure do. And, uh, it, you know, really, uh, uh, beside winning all the races wherever I go with this horse, everybody expects, like, track record, and I'm all for it. But at the same time, you'd have to have compassion for the horse. So I wanted to go as fast as I had to to uh, win, and I'm very glad that it's a track record for four-year-old pacers. You picked up the pace a little bit in the third panel, and Broadway Express is breathing very heavily down your neck. Did you ever think that Mickey's horse was going to give you a test towards the end of the mile? Well, Broadway Express is a tough little horse. He's just come back from New York with back-to-back -back wins in the open pace, beat all the best paces over there. He's getting the super trip. But the third quarter, I'm stringing him along a little bit, so I didn't want to just get out brush the last quarter. My horse is pacing over here pretty handy. And as you know, last quarter, I'm going to be uh, pacing real good. And it just took the sting out of Broadway Express, which I didn't want to just wait for the last eight of a mile. See, I'm driving over here. And I know Broadway Express is right behind me, but I think it's a little bit too much for him. Far skipper is just a little bit too much for most of these pacers. A lot of people always judge how good a horse is by after a front end trip like that, how much he has left at the end. How much gas was left in Forrest Skipper's gas tank? I'm driving Forrest Skipper out over here, but he's really pacing strong. If he had another quarter of a mile to go, he would do it. And I sure hope that the people that uh, watch him race tonight again would really consider him for the horse of the year because he deserves it. Lucian, congratulations. You've done a marvelous job with the horse, and you've really given fans across North America a treat. Best of luck. It's my pleasure, and thank you very much, Alan, and I hope to see you soon. Let's go back to Dave Johnson. And on the board, it is official. Forrest Skipper pays 260, 240, and 210. Yes, that bridge jumper collected. Broadway Express, 740 and 210. Luster's big guy, 210. I'm sure there was a minus show pool. But Forrest Skipper, who is trained by son Mark and driven by dad Lucian, comes home a big winner this evening. And Ellie, what about Horse of the Year honors at this point? Oh, I think he's got it all sewed up, Dave. He's won everything. He's done everything they've asked him to do. And I think he is definitely Horse of the Year. Forrest Skipper is the winner this evening in 153 and 4. 153 and 4. The Breeders' Crown 86 has been brought to you by Los Alamitos Racecourse. By the North American Standard Bread Sales Company. And by the nationwide investment firm of First Jersey Securities. Come grow with us. Be sure to be with us one week from tonight at 8.30 Eastern Time for the rich two-year-old Philly Trot in what shapes up as a great contest in Breeders' Crown competition. Canterbury Downs in Minnesota will be the host for this challenge for these young ladies next Friday night. Once again, the winner of tonight's Breeders' Crown is Forrest Skipper.